Do you guys mow hills? Do you put your mower in precarious situations on steep inclines where you feel like you might die? Mama. Well, today we're gonna be testing five incredible machines behind me and seeing which is the best at mowing slopes. We're not talking specific brands, we're talking types. Is it a sit down rider? Is it a stand on, like a grandstand? Is it a commercial walk behind? Is it a push mower? Or is it the X Class, the custom made machine I have behind me on your right? Today, we have found an enormous slope. I'm talking the best slope in Florida. This baby is enormous. It's like Mount Vesuvius. It's the only thing. If Florida were to sink, this would be out of the water. But we're going to be putting these five mowers on the mountain today, and we're going to be testing them at various degrees. We have a 11 degree tier, which is in this lower section. And then you have an 18 degree, and then a 22 degree. And at the very highest piece, it's around 25 degrees. So we're going to test each one of these mowers. My brother, Stu, is going to help me, and we're going to get a chance for each of us to ride and push on all these different categories and see how they handle, and we'll give you guys our feedback. Check this out. A quick word of caution. Anything over 15 degrees is not recommended by Toro. We are entering the danger zone. Please do not try this at home. We are what they call trained experts. Okay, Proline, 11 degree slope. Now, this is an aftermarket Velky. We call this thing the Death Trap 9000. <laughs> <laughs> On flat ground, this is a fine machine. If this is what your budget has allotted, you will cut grass, you can make money. But on a slope, how do you like it? Look how squirrely it is. It feels tough on the body. Honestly, just the, you can just see how Stu's trying to turn uphill here, and it was wanting to jackknife going forward and it was very difficult, very, very difficult to maneuver well. That one felt sketchy. Yeah, I mean, what was going on there is that tire was just spinning out. 11 degrees felt like almost its max. Yeah. So one thing that was not fair in this test was the fact that that's a 36. So it had skinny yeah. tires, had a much smaller wheelbase. Yep. If we had a 60 inch walk, it'd be a whole different story. It would have much larger tires, much wider stance. No one would buy this mower to mow a slope. Especially an enormous slope like that. Wrong application for this mower. Agreed. If this was a bigger, wider mower, and it had the original Toro Velke, it'd probably been a pretty good fit. But that aftermarket Velke and those skinny tires just did not function well as a team. No, no, totally agree. All right, the next mower we took on this 11 degree hill was a 52 inch grandstand with a 22 horse Kawasaki and it handled that 11 degrees with ease. Dude, I loved the grandstand on the hill. Felt probably super stable, especially coming off that 36. The 52 felt like an entirely different machine. Felt way more capable. I really like how you can compensate for the slope with your legs and your body can stand up straight. You're not doing it with your back or your hips. It looks way more comfortable. And you could turn up or down either way at this degree slope yeah, without any concern. Yeah, I think if you're mowing slopes, grandstand is a great option. It was very comfortable. And I felt safe. If something did happen, I could just step off. But at this level, I felt so grounded, I didn't even come close to stepping off. Yeah. Okay, the big rider on the 11 degree. I was kind of expecting the grandstand to perform best in a lot of these categories, but really the rider felt super stable for me too. Like, I was very comfortable. Yes, agreed. It was very grounded, felt extremely safe at that slope there. The camera never shows the slope as accurately as it is. That would be like a hard slope to walk up mm -hmm. on the mower. You, you didn't feel like you're in danger. At Not any, at all. At any moment. I will say the 72, I was comparing them before loading it up on the trailer. It has a wider front fork stance, has a wider rear stance. Oh, yeah. So it's a much wider frame and platform. And if you can fit a 72 inch on your truck, I feel like it's a much more stable 
slope mower if you can go 72. That's another case of not a perfectly fair test yeah. that the rider was the widest of mm -hmm. all the options that we tested. Sure. So logically you would think it would be the most stable on the hills. But something just to think about, even if you were doing slopes, I bet a 72 grandstand has that perk as well. Mm -hmm. Just wider stance, the wider the deck, the wider the frame. The push mower, the push emesis. <laughs> this is the push mower on the 11 degree. It's got it offset on his body a little bit. It was able to walk pretty easy. Obviously, if you're doing this hill like this, it would take you your whole life. You would just never leave. You'd have all your family bring you all of your meals. I would say the personal pace worked great. Yeah, it did. It made the mower feel weightless. Just the deck was too small. Honestly, it did, it did push really well. I like that new handle system. I was kind of a little skeptical first of that rolled handle self-propel, but it feels really nice. It actually functions well. This is a fine option for slope, and it's your safest option. Yeah. You could totally just let go. If, you're, if you were debating between a walk behind like this or that Proline 36 in a gated backyard with a slope, you might be as good off going this route than that route. Yeah. If it, if it was a slope, if it was just flat, the pro line would definitely be better. All right, back to the pro line. We're on slope number two. 18 degrees. This is 18 degrees. This is where stuff started to get real. <laughs> Maybe put up the uh, footrest. Turn down for what? <laughs> This one, you just need to get your little helper. So Toro, on all their commercial lines, says don't mow steeper than 15 degrees. So 11 degrees was in the scope of all those machines, capability. But once you reach 18 degrees, this is Toro saying, hey, this is no longer safe. We don't really recommend you to do it. Truthfully, you could tell a huge difference. It was much more dangerous after the 15 degree mark. This is me riding on the front trying to give Stu a little traction. I know this is not okay, and I'm not recommending y'all do this, okay, but... We did not have the blades on anymore at this point. The rest of the testing, we always kept the blades on because we wanted to pull down the horsepower to give it a real application. But this kind of does mimic if we were to have some front weights on that machine, if how it would have done, and it did a lot better after I sat on there. Just... Can you imagine having that much front weight? <laughs> <laughs> just a mere 225 of pure just, muscle over just there. Five plates, that's all. <laughs> Whew. This was really the last slope we took the pro line on. With no front weights in a 36, that is not the mower you want to buy for a slope, especially if you're over 11 degrees. All right, 18 degrees, we're on the grandstand. Again, still feeling good. It feels like the fastest, I would say. Mm -hmm that you could turn. Yeah, you could pretty much turn at speed and feel very comfortable. It could pop a wheelie if you're aiming uphill. Yeah, um, you could hop off of the platform if you wanted to turn uphill and... Yep, there it goes, I hop off right there. And but, then it would it would do it no problem. This is a, you know, a little bit steeper than what you would say it's rated for, and I was turning uphill there. If you turn downhill, you don't have to hop off at all. It felt like I was mowing almost 45 degrees, it felt steep right here but felt very 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 stable okay so now we're on the 72 on the 18 degree you know you gotta cock your hiney sideways a smidge once you start getting in these higher degrees but the mower was like a dang suction cup to yeah. That hill. <laughs> yeah it felt amazing yeah i felt like i could put anybody i know on that slope and they could mow it and feel pretty safe and and i will say that my ticker was getting on the machine, not really knowing what it was going to be like. Going into the grandstand, I always knew I had that safety net of, I'll jump off of this thing. Right. But being strapped in, there's a lot more at stake. Yeah, I really liked that 6000. The engine sounded good, had good power. Transmission sounded like they handled it well. The suspension seat worked well. I mean, there were some mole holes and dips and jumps in this slope in it. It was a very comfortable option. It felt like a Cadillac on that hill, yeah. for sure. Here we are, push mower again at 18 degrees. Same story. It worked. It chugged along. It gave you good traction. It would even go uphill just fine. 
you got to have rear wheel drive. I mean, look how the front wheels are coming off the ground. If it was front wheel drive, wouldn't be pulling worth a diddly. Whoever invented or thinks front wheel drive is better is wrong. I just want you guys to know it's not right. <laughs> if you are using a push mower, you are popping wheelies constantly. You want the wheels on the ground to have traction. Don't even comment. We'll never be on the same page. What degree slope do you think you could take a push mower? 85? <laughs> Probably. If I had some suction cup shoes, I'd be there. Now, something to keep in mind is motors are not built to be run for extended times on the slope. That's an important thing to mention. All of these motors have, well not all of them, this one has a slinger, but all the riders have oil pumps. Mm -hmm. And typically running it at an increased degree, over 15 degrees for a prolonged period of time, can cause oil problems. It can cause all kinds of lack of lubrication. Test number three is 22 degrees with the pro line. I'm struggling here to even get into the 18 degree section of the hill. The Velky is totally not an option. We're just doing nothing but wheelies. It's too rear heavy and tires are too skinny, not enough traction. It look deadly. You look comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to duck and cover at any moment. Giving it the a business. Different, <laughs> different stance there. Getting fancy on that Velky. <laughs> that Velky though swivels back and forth so fast. <laughs> Guys, if you're out there and you're a Velky man, I salute you. You're just brave and strong and iron willed. But you should try a grandstand. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> All right, grandstand going straight up. It obviously be easier to walk behind it. I was seeing how high I could go if I just stood on my tippy toes, but it's not very high. We are getting into some serious degreeage here, y'all. It starts to catwalk a little bit. <coughs> Rear end kind of slides a smidge as you're going. It's getting pretty steep. But if you turn downhill, it, it felt really good. You could put your foot up on that platform. You could angle your body. I felt stable. I felt confident. Keep in mind, this is 22 degrees, y'all. This is very steep. The only time that I was worried is turning around on the ends. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of forward momentum on the turns, and <laughs> you needed to slow down, almost come to a stop before you even begin your turn, because once you start going down that turn with any speed, it was very hard to change direction. Yeah, at 22 degrees, I felt a bit in danger on the turns and, and had to be quite careful. If you were doing slopes like this and you want to do it with the grandstand, I would still probably put a weight kit on the front of that. Oh yeah. And that would make a world of difference. All right, here's cruising up this 22 degree hill. Climbing that hill felt dangerous. <laughs> Don't do it. I mean, the mower did it just fine and I didn't have to get off the seat or anything like we did with the grandstand. Yeah, I mean, it really didn't even pop a wheelie going up the hill. It, it just was, you could feel the front end get a little lighter. We didn't find out what exactly would happen firsthand if the frame would act like a wheelie bar or if that thing would just go all the way. I felt as though when you're going straight up it that the frame would bottom out and keep you from toppling. Yeah, I do think, because even when you like lift the front of this mower with a chain hoist, the rear of the frame hits the ground. Yeah. At not that steep. But the machine felt extremely comfortable, extremely stable. Turned well. Turned well. I mean, honestly, on even the 22, I felt like this is a great option for somebody mowing slopes. I don't know what that Vanguard with the extra oil guard, if that, what that does for your engine on slopes, if that's good or bad. I would love to hear in the comments if any of you guys have any experience with Vanguards on slopes, but the motor performed really well. All right, 22 degrees with a super recycler. Personal pace is working good. It stinks that it's only cutting 22 inches, 21 inches actually of grass. You see how, how far off to the side I am? I mean. That would hurt at the end of the day if you had to mow with that for hours. It'd be hard to be precise at that angle and like maximize your cut width. So we'll just say it one more time. Only do this if you have a slope and a small area to cut. But it's a good option. The mower ran good. self propel worked good. It could handle 22 degrees, no problem. Okay, we're on test number four. We got the 72 inch here. This is on 25 degrees, 
this mower ate it up, man. Discharging well, mowing well. It was sketchy on the turns. 25 degrees is no joke. I was trying hard to stay online there and you could see how I drooped downward really far and had to climb my way back up. Just because your front wheels are providing no traction, your wheel, rear wheels are doing all the work. And if they just break free a little bit on this light, dry soil, you, you move forward. Say, I called a landscaper friend of ours before we did this video, just to ask for advice. Jonathan Tucson, shout out, thanks for your advice. He says their team does not mow slopes before 11 a.m. because it's too wet. Let the sun come out and dry it out mm -hmm. and your tires will grip much better. It'll mower will perform a lot better because this, this would not have worked during if it was wet out. No. Grandstand, 52. Not a 72, still getting it done, 25 degrees. Scary, very scary. We actually didn't want to go do this test. We both looked at each other like, we can stop, right? <laughs> and we said, no, we already said we're going to the top. We got to do it. Well, guys, if you do mow slopes and you've been curious what to add to your fleet, these are great options. This can't go wrong with a big wide area zero turn, 72, 60 inch. The wider the deck, the wider the frame, the more stability you're gonna have. Get something with a suspension seat. If you're gonna get these big contracts, make sure you're building it well. It's a, it's a very hard job. It's difficult on the body, it's difficult in your machinery. Don't sell yourself short. You can't go wrong with a grandstand. Grandstand's a great machine. Any standard's gonna work well on these. You know, we tested the grandstand, we're a Toro dealer, we believe in the product, and that's a great option for you. It felt stable. I knew I could get off. I knew that if I had a team out there, it'd be very hard for them to get hurt on a grandstand, right? Yep. Proline is another option. You saw a wide area, a 60 inch with a dually on it. That's an option. You can build something like that. I would not go with a small frame walk behind. I would not go with the 36. I probably wouldn't even go with a 48. I would go bigger than that mm -hmm. if I was going to use it on slope. 60. And I would go with Toro's patented Velky rather than the off-brand Velky. Spend a little extra money, it's going to be a much more stable platform. Or if you're going to be doing solely slopes with it, probably just walk behind it because you want as much forward weight as possible. Put a weight kit on it, go that route. I mean, if you got a small area to mow and you got you want to save money, that 21 push mower killed it. You couldn't go wrong. We used a mixture of machines, but let's say we had a 60-inch Pro Line, 60-inch Grandstand, and a 60-inch Z Master. You have properties with lots of slope. What do you buy? It would depend on my employees' abilities, one. Yeah. If I felt like they were very ill-skilled or new green employees, I would go rider. I feel like that's just a more stable platform. Or if I had some really seasoned guys and I don't know if this is gonna be my only contract and I need the versatility, I'd probably go grandstand. I think both would do the property. If I'm the one personally riding it, I think I'd probably go rider just because it a little more comfortable if you're mowing for hours and hours. Yeah, this property would have a lot of seat time where you would be on the machine for three or four hours and that would be too long for one continuous grandstand outing. Your calves would be burning and that would be whatever brand, I don't care if you're riding a right or whatever, your legs would be on fire from standing and absorbing that for that long. But we could boil it down and say Grandstand, you have the ability to get off of it, and you have the ability to climb. Really steep. Really steep hills. I mean, scary steep. Z Master, you can stay in the seat. You can climb the same hills. And it felt a little more stable. And it felt a little more stable. A little more forward weight. Because yeah. you're sitting on the middle of the machine opposed to the rear. Yeah. So while we were there, one of our big customers pulls in, and they actually have the contract to cut this property. And they faced the same problem. And they realized that it was a very unsafe environment for their employees. So they custom built a machine out of a 60 inch pro line that was super stable. And they actually let us use it on the hill. You got the mow with it. I didn't get to ride this thing. We considered this one the X factor in the beginning of the video, just because there's going to be all kinds of custom rigs people make for slopes. And these aren't machines that are coming out from the manufacturer. This is some customization here. They made this dually kit, they made an extra weight kit beyond the Toro weight kit. But how did it feel, Stu? How did it feel on the, all the slopes? It felt awesome. I mean, it felt 
like nothing could ever go wrong. There would be no way for that thing to slide out. Uh, it could have gone beyond what I took it to there. There was no moment where the tires slipped, I felt like the machine was gonna flip, it didn't wheelie, it felt like a beast. They built a nice machine. But you're walking. That's a lot of walking. Yeah, that is a lot of walking, no doubt. Like, even though it was perfect for slope, and it had a lot of stability, do you think that's the best slope option for somebody who's thinking about slopes? No. There's another option, and it's an option that we didn't bring out to this test. And it's something called Ventrac. The Ventrac. What is it so people know? Ventrac is a company that's now owned by Toro. It's made in Ohio. It's an articulating tractor, but all the attachments hook up in the front. One of its competitive advantages is it's a killer slope machine. It comes with four wheels, but they make a factory dually kit. And it allows it to mow up to 35 degrees. Um, Constantly. Like OSHA rated. Yeah. And you can also put up to an eight foot deck on that same machine. Hmm. You can put a really nice suspension seat and you can put a canopy with a really nice radiator fan blowing down on you. Whew. You could mow that property in the shade from a comfy seat without any risk at all of flipping over. Yeah, and 35 degrees is what it's rated for. These are rated for 15 and we are going 25. I'm not saying you should or could go higher than 35, but have you ever heard of anyone going steeper than 35? Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. And they're just a very capable platform, and not just for mowing, but for all types of things. But if I was an employer and I was putting my staff on this slope, I wouldn't feel right necessarily manufacturing my own product, like the X Factor, mm -hmm. even though that was a very capable product. But if something went wrong, it would be some guilt on me that I hurt my person, right? Like, I think there would be some liability that would fall back on me for being the manufacturer of that. My boss told me to use it. My boss told me it was safe, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if I were to have that contract, I had a Ventrac with a dually kit and a wide area mower, they couldn't screw up. They could mow it comfortably, and that machine would be more than capable. And it wouldn't twist. It has eight-wheel drive. It would mow that faster and safer than anything else. And then you also add an edger kit you got a ton of edging to do. You could do that whole HOA sidewalk. And then you add a turbine blower. You could kit. blow off all their parking lots, tennis courts, the whole contract. It'd be a killer machine. Yeah. You know, the other thing, too, is that retention pond is going to be a boggy mess for <laughs> half of the year. You're right. And every other mower is going to get be sunk. sank in there. Yeah. And it, the Ventrac is unstickable. If you can walk through a puddle with some rubber boots on or some type of water, body of water with rubber boots on, you can pretty much drive your Ventrac through it. Your guy's not getting stuck, you not getting stuck on a job and having to call a wrecker to come pull you out. Honestly, it's like owning your own wrecker for all your other mowers. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pull, bring tug your Ventrac to go tug everything else out that you got stuck. Guys, if you're mowing slopes, do it safely. Your ultimate best option is a Ventrac. If you're in Central Florida or anywhere in Florida and you want one, look us up, Main Street Mower. We'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun video to make for you guys. This video came about because one of you commented we should do a slope mower video. It's a guy by the name of Kevin. Kevin Atkins, you're the man. Thanks for commenting. <laughs> this video goes out to you, bud. You know, if you want to be like Kevin here and maybe have a video made after one of your ideas, throw a comment in there. We would love to do it. We made another video with the subscriber Harry on his John Deere, comparing Toro and John Deere. And we love interacting with you guys. So anything we can do that would be fun for you guys to see is great content for us, great content for you. So make your suggestions, make your comments. We'll try to keep these videos coming for you. Thanks for subscribing. We appreciate y'all. Take it easy.